Okay, I'm Tonya. Um, I worked for a vet for 10 years and then I owned a grooming parlor for 16 years. And I've got four children and I've engaged to a chap called Adrian. I'm Mandy. I was a stay-at-home mom. I've got three kids and I'm married to a guy called Adrian. <laughs> Okay, it's Catitude and um, what we do is we go out, we track feral cats, we take them to our vet Dr. Talani, we sterilise them and then when they're ready to go we go back to the place we caught them and release them. There's a big problem with feral cats at the moment so we are trying to um, control the numbers and because a mommy cat can have babies every two to three months. And if she has five or six kittens every two months, you can imagine the population explosion. After we've released them, we also set up feeding schemes. We feed the cats, we look after them, we sort out any problems that may arise. So yeah, we basically care for them for the rest of their lives. I met Mandy about two years ago. Um, and she phoned me the one day and she said she's looking for a kitten. Where can she get a kitten from? So I said, go to Nigel SPCA. I said, but don't adopt one, adopt two or three. But I was laughing. When she got home, she phoned me, she said, please come for tea. So I went the next day, she'd adopted five kittens and one adult cat. <laughs> <laughs> so we started talking about the problems out there and we decided we wanted to help people get their cats sterilized because there is a major problem. So we started approaching all the vets and then Dr. Talani phoned us and he said, could we go see him? And he said, don't worry about the people, worry about feral cats. And we were like, oh, there's no such thing as feral cats. And we went out and did some work and we found out there's a major problem. So that's how we got started. <laughs> The cats motivate us. Now in the two years that we've been doing it, we've sterilised over 400 cats. Unfortunately, we've had to euthanise about 100 odd. That's one of the bad parts. But I think we've also got a wonderful team of ladies behind us. We've got a lovely fundraising team, um, Lindsay, Shereen, Natasha and Siobhan who help us and encourage us along the way as well. And I think our Mandy and I have got an amazing sense of humour and we understand each other. So when we're having a bad day, we've got a saying, we say put your good girl panties on and carry on. And that's how we do it. And I think just laughing and keeping going. I think we inspire each other. Yeah, it's I don't know, it's just the need to carry on and keep doing what we're doing. I think our families inspire us as well because they can see what we're doing and when we have a bad day when we've lost a little kid through a horrific accident or something, we cry about it, but we've got each other and we talk about it and then we just, the next day, just carry on. And that, I think that's important. And I think a lot of the inspiration comes from when you see a colony where you went to the first time and the cats often and they look well with told but to when you've sterilized them and they're on a feeding scheme and they're all fat and healthy that just keeps motivating me. Okay um I think the people there's a lot of people that are behind us we just need to get a lot more people on board with us. Um, well, some of the places we go to in Springs, people are very open to what we're doing. All the cats sterilised, healthy, looked after. In a way, I'd love to have a shelter, but in a way, I wouldn't. With the cost and all of that. But just to have all the cats looked after and loved and no cruelty.